video and uh, in this YouTube channel I'll be covering all the things about the Air Pair Air Drone 2.0. So this is my new toy, I'll be covering how to set up and how to review and everything in my future videos. But this video I'll just be covering the setup and a little bit of flight. So what you want to do first in your setup is you need a battery and of course you need your drone. You need your indoor hall or your outdoor hall. And you need an Apple or Android device. So, what you do first, you put your battery into the tray located right in the center, you strap it on, and you plug your battery in to the drone. Now, if your drone is working properly, you should see four red lights that turn off and then turn on again, and then you should see a motor twitch from all four motors. Let's wait for that. Okay, now the lights should turn green. And yes, they have. Then you put down your mat and put on your hull, so your indoor hull or your outdoor hull. In this case, I'm flying indoors, so I would put on my indoor hull. Oh, and by the way, this here is a USB connector. It's new to the paired air drone 2. The paired air drone 1 didn't have this, but basically, uh, what it does is you can record your video directly to a USB stick. So what you do is, after that, you open up your iDevice right here and you go to, you go to settings and you go to Wi-Fi and you select your AR drones network which will come up automatically for me because I've, I've connected to it a bunch of times and then you open up your app so I have I'm right now I'm using AR free flight there are a bunch of other apps like drone control and drone ace and stuff but for this one let's use the official AR drone app and then you see the app, the app uh, open and you wait till piloting comes up, you click on it. These other apps do a bunch of other stuff. So then what you do when you have the screen is you press the takeoff button, which will, so I'll just go over the review of all the different buttons. This is the, these two are to control the drone. This one is the tilt button. So when you press this and tilt forward, left, right, or back, that's the direction the drone will move. This button is to make the drone go up, down, left, or right. So that would be used. The emergency button is a user emergency button. So when you press it, the drone will automatically cut out all the motors and they'll go red as you see. This is the battery gauge. This button is to go back to the user screen. This is the settings, which you can actually change. It's really easy to change depending on whether you're flying inside or outside. Now the AR drone does have a forward facing camera and uh, that camera records at high depth, so 720 by 1280 pixels. So that would be useful if you want to record video or somewhere, if you're somewhere high up in the air. This is a record button, so this is what you use to record. You can take a still picture anytime by pr just pressing this button. Okay, and then you would just go back to the menu and go to your photos and videos and you can see all of this again. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit the takeoff button. So let's get, let's get up in the air as soon as possible. The first thing you notice is that the drone hovers at a pre-designated height. So what you want to do is you want to either make it go up or down. And then what you, you want to tilt it forward or backwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it go forward. Or left. Or right. Or back. So this is how the AR drone hovers. whatever speeds you want. So what you do is you go to the this section here and since if it depends, it'll set default settings wherever you're flying. So if I'm flying outside, it'll give its own default settings, but unfortunately I'm not flying outside. So I have, I'm going pretty slow right now because I don't want to crash into any walls or anything. But I will be covering outside flights later. But I should have mentioned this and what you want to do before every flight is you want to set the drone on a flat surface like right here, this is a flat surface right here. And you want to go to the settings option. You want to go to the settings option and press flat trim. So that'll cal that's kind of like a calibration for the drone. Okay, so let's flip, so let's flip through all, this is basically the settings, so I'll explain everything. So pairing, right, pairing's right here. 
So that'll make sure that while you're in flight, nobody else with an iPhone can steal your the connection and therefore they can't fly your drone away and keep it so they can't steal it. So that connection is just between you and your iDevice. So USB record is on, auto record is on. Auto record is like, it, it's basically that whenever you take off the drone starts to record. So if you forget to record but something important happens, you still have that in recording. I don't really need that so I'm going to turn that off right now. And then there's a flip. Since I'm indoors, I'm not enabling the flip because that would cause, and I have the indoor hull on, that would cause the drone to like spin out and crash. So uh, I put it off, but y now you can choose between your front flip, back flip, left flip, and, sorry, sorry about that, my battery. Front flip, back flip, left flip, and right flip. And this is just the settings, so altitude limit tells you how high you can make your drone go. Vertical speed max is pretty much how uh, how high how fast it'll go higher and uh, upper and lower. Our uh, rotation speed max is how fast it'll rotate and tilt angle max how fast it'll go. Okay, so joypad mode is basically when you when you control your drone, you have to tilt forward and backward. But in joypad mode, you just slide it up, down, left, and right. So there's no tilting of the iPod. This is more for like more video game type people. Okay, absolute control is an interesting feature they added in just the Air Drone 2.0. So basically what it means is, if your Air Drone is facing, let's say, to the left, and you press forward, the Air Drone will go to the left, not to your forward. So it'll go to its forward, if you know what I mean. So this can be kind of difficult for beginners like me to, you know, learn to pilot the drone. So what they did was, if you, because of the new gyroscope built into the AR Drone, if you, wherever you are, if you tilt the drone forward or backward, it will always go in the direction you're, you're pointing your device, no matter what way it's facing. So I'll just show, I'll, so I'll, ju I'll just show, I'll just show you this in action right now. Uh, so, forward the drone goes forward but if the drone is facing that way right if the drone is facing over there and I put my device forward it'll go over there not to my forward so to fix that they have absolute control mode unfortunately the absolute control mode is not available on the iPod touch only on the iPhone and the iPad so if you have an iPhone and an iPad this would be an interesting feature to check out so instead of talking now for the for the small amount of battery that I have left, we are going to go fly the drone. Okay, the drone is very stable and it can hover by itself. So even though I'm letting go of the controls right now, it's hovering in a pre-designated pre spot just by itself. So that's a really cool feature in the drone. So let me touch the controls and let's go forward. <laughs> 